we remain committed to the alliance, uh, and we absolutely remain committed uh, to bolstering the capabilities of our of our uh, of NATO's eastern flank to the degree that they desire uh, that extra support. Um, and uh, it's not about. Um, look, I don't think it. I, I don't think anybody wants to see uh, another war on the European continent. And there's no reason why that has to occur. This could be solved very easily by the Russians de-escalating, by, by moving some of these forces away, um, which they haven't done. Uh, and so NATO, as a defensive alliance, and it is a defensive alliance, uh, has a responsibility to its members to make sure that they're able to defend themselves if needed. And that's what — and that's the, that's, uh, um, that's the spirit in which uh, the Secretary has made these early uh, — heightened alert decisions. Jen. Tom, just a point of clarification. If NATO is a defensive alliance and these troops, if they are activated, are defensive and therefore frontline NATO states, how does this protect Ukraine? How does it stop Putin from going into Ukraine? It's, it's designed to reassure our NATO allies, Jen. It's, it's designed to reassure our NATO allies. And we are taking — and we are — How does it protect Ukraine? Jen, it, it sends a very clear signal. To, to Mr. Putin, uh, that we take our responsibilities to NATO seriously. Um, and we are also working inside the international community uh, to uh, implement severe consequences for Mr. Putin if he were to go uh, in, again into Ukraine. Largely, those are uh, of an ec economic uh, e economic consequences. So I, I get what your, your, your question is. I'm, t I'm trying to be very clear. This gets to um, Barbara's question about what success looked like, uh, we obviously don't want to see another incursion in Ukraine. We are using uh, lots of levers to try to communicate uh, why that would be a bad thing for Russia to do. But number two, and it's not an insignificant number two, is to make sure that NATO stays unified and, and that NATO, uh, our allies, are able to defend themselves. And that is what this decision is all about. It's about putting these forces on a heightened alert in case NATO needs them.